Hello! Thank you for joining me today. We're going to do a quick overview of some EDC slash tech pouches. We have the Air Slim tech pouch, the REI Road Tripper in the small size, uh, the Triple Lot Design OP1, Fall Raven or Fjall Raven tech pocket, the Fjall Raven gear bag, and the Fjall Raven Kanken gear bag, which is slightly different. So let's dive into it. All right, first up, the Air Slim Tech Pouch. This is what I currently have my junk loaded into. <laughs> All right, so in the front pocket here, I've got a couple pens. We have a Sharpie and a Mont Blanc. Getting into the inside, the nice thing here, it stands upright. So let's go through some keys, MacBook, power brick, and two meter cord. Uh, this is the 12 South Compass Pro, AirPods, iPhone charging cable, Magic Mouse, Spare Mask, Notebook, a couple more pens, a little Olight, I think this is the SR1 Baton flashlight, some Apple pencil tips, and a lens cleaner. So that all fit into this nice compact bag. Let's move on to the OP1. This is the limited edition in X Pack. So, first thing we can see is size is quite a bit bigger than the Air Tech Pouch. Thickness is a, it's a little slimmer, but basically the same. Now, the OP1 is great for thinner, longer items like pens. It has uh, all this nice elastic webbing. Where it doesn't excel is the bulkier things, like the power brick. We can kind of manhandle our cords into some of this elastic. But it's just not as easy. Of course, lacks a nice spot for the AirPods. The uh, compass, I guess I can slot in here. We'll put the some of the less used things, the mask and the pencil tips. Flashlight. Here we can really load this up with small items like pens or, well, you know, screwdrivers, things like that. We'll slide these guys in there. Now it does have a little loop for keys, so we'll put that there. And we're stuck with the power brick. Put it there. Oh, still have a mouse to deal with. We run out of. Okay, so the mouse will fit in there. Oh, and here we have. Okay, so here we have the front panel, and we have two pockets. Two large pockets and a smaller center pocket. Center pocket is basically good for a pen. And that's about it. Uh, the two outer pockets, I don't know what's going to fit in there. It's too small for a field note. Uh, maybe a knife or magazine if you carry that way. There we go. We can fit a Sabenza in there. Of course, the 
pen sticks up higher than the fold, so there we go. Uh, this is holding the same amount of stuff as the air, but considerably bulkier and less carryable. Now it does have molly webbing and some straps on the back, so if it's a permanent, semi-permanent application, great, but still not ideal for this application. Let's unload all of this stuff. And on to the next one. Let's look at the REI Small Road Tripper. This is sold as a just a do-it-all pouch. I use it as a dop kit when I'm traveling. There is no organization at all. Everything just goes in it. If you are looking for A bag that swallows everything and can just be tossed in another bag. This is a, a fine idea. However, as an EDC carry-all, not so good. Uh, as you can see, everything is just in there. Next up, the Magpul Daka. This is the small pouch. And again, no internal organization. Everything just goes in. We're going to be limited in size here. And I can't even get it to zip with the power brick. This is great if you're looking for something that'll hold a few things, maybe a battery bank or something. Uh, it's waterproof, except for the zipper, which is a YKK AquaGuard. Um, so water resistant up here, waterproof everywhere else. But not as spacious as the other bags that we've looked at so far or will look at. This is the Fjall Raven gear bag, or I'm sorry, the Tech Pocket. Uh, this is the small size. They do have a medium, I believe. Same limitations of the Magpul Daka. We're not going to be able to fit everything in here, and there is no internal organization. Um, this is made with G1000, which is uh, sort of like a waxed canvas material. and offers some water resistance, but not water proofness. So we fit a good deal of our stuff in there, but not all of it. Um, this is great for, I use it as a pencil case most of the time. Other than that, good internal organization in another bag, not great as a organized EDC bag. All right, uh, here we have the Fjall Raven gear bag. This has no exterior pockets. On the inside, we have a little organization, a zipper pocket, and two open tops. So we have a mild amount of interior organization. Let's put all of the pens in that side pocket with this, and I think the field notes will fit in there. We can throw the mouse in here. Put 
the screen cleaner behind there. We'll clip. Well, we won't clip anything there. Here we have a mild amount of, my, of organization. Probably not enough for everything that we want to carry, but it will fit everything. This is again made out of G1000, um, so water resistant to a point, not waterproof. It does have a nice little carry handle. And again, we'll get a view of the inside. So if you're looking for a uh, pouch that will stand on your desk, offers a moderate amount of organization, and swallows a good amount of gear, this one is one to consider. Now, the last pouch that we have to talk about is the Fjall Raven Kanken gear pouch or gear bag. This is basically the same as what we just looked at, except for it's a little smaller uh, height wise, and it does not have the interior zip pocket. So you lose a little height, and you lose that zippered pocket. This is made out of a different material. I believe this is made out of nylon. Offers about the same degree of water protection. Again, not waterproofness. And... The interior pockets are not big enough for the 85 watt. Is this the 85 watt? Uh, the USB C MacBook charger. It will hold the mouse. It can fit a good deal of the rest of this in here. Without that zippered pocket, though, we lose some of the organization. Here we are. We're pretty much stuffed to capacity. Now we'll close. So, uh, compact, not as much organization as the Fall Raven, or Fjall Raven gear bag. The Kanking gear bag lacks that internal zipper pocket that, we, that I discussed. So there we go. There we go. Uh, we took a look at the Air Slim Tech Pouch, which in my opinion is the superior offering for what I'm carrying. We looked at the REI Small Road Tripper, which is a fine bag, no internal organization, we looked at the Magpul Daka. We looked at the Fjall Raven gear bag. Also, two bags with no internal organization. We looked at the OP1 from Triple Watt Design, which is great for longer items like pens, not so great for wider items or thicker items like the Apple uh, USB C MacBook charger. We looked at two gear bags, uh, the base, I don't know if it's base or not, but the base Fjall Raven gear bag and the Kanken gear bag, also made by Fjall Raven. Um, any questions about any of these products? If you want to see maybe a more in-depth view or something else loaded in there, I would be happy to do that. Thank you all, and I hope you have a wonderful day.